two you can't get, right? The right, 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 right. In the middle is the perioral cavity, and then the epicardial is the stimulator. And then we did one of the epicardium, and we opened it and did Myocardium. Myocardium is And the white lining on the inside is the endocardium. And then we're back to the Okay, so looking at it from the front then. It's a pulmonary transfusion, uh, yeah. uh, yeah. so you have uh, left and right, and then this one, focus, and the little one. What is the interventricular? It's the septum. Oh, yeah. So, uh, left and right side, interventricular, focus, even though it doesn't, I guess you can consider this to be a okay. So it's going to be up here between the two. These are the oracles, okay. and the atrium is kind of underneath the oracles, so here's the focus between these guys. It's that area there on that side, and then you have it better on this side. Yeah, it goes yeah. kind of all the way around. Yeah. Yeah. If you put them back together correctly, you can see there's this separation. This one's an oracle. This one's the intra-oracle. Intra, intra uh, atrial, 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 Okay. I've been told. <laughs> One guy tapped out. Okay. Okay. So we'll get on the out. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So do you want to pick it up now? Or? Now or do it later? We can do it later. Okay. And then we'll open it up. So can I take some? Yeah. I don't want to pick them in here. So then when you open it up, how are you going to know left from right if it's a plane? That's how thick it was. Yeah, look how big that is. My heart had walls on it. Okay, it looks like. Here's one. It's going to be the right atrium. This will be the left atrium. And then the left ventricle and the right ventricle. Does that make sense? And then in between these guys is. This wall in between the atria, that's your inner atrial septum. So it's this wall, I'm going to say, uh, it's kind of funny. But this is, if you look at it here, there's two ventricles, and there's stuff in between is the interventricular septum. So if you can find the two atria, and then it looks like it's kind of been cut, but there's an inner atrial septum too. Okay, so the atrial ones are going to be above the cuspid valve, the atrial septum, and then the interventricular septum runs the same horizontal direction as the interventricular sulcus. It's just on the inside. Okay, right, so where are we at now? You did apex and base. Okay. So these guys, you turn this inside out in the atrium, these are the pectinates. They're like cord-like looking muscles. 
and they're in both sides. So here's the other side, just a little smaller on the right side. And these are the pectinate. So your pec muscles. Okay. So then the um, trabeculae, carnate, the, the ones that are basically in the ventricles. Okay. So they kind of have this other type of look. They, kind of, they look different from these, right? These have a, these have like a, like a cord sort of running underneath the, underneath the surface. And these guys look a little different. Yeah. What are they looking like? Whatever you say, they look like. <laughs> sponge. Sponge. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. the, yeah, just remember those, these are in the ventricles, and those are in the ventricles. Sponge in the ventricles. Sponge in the ventricles. And which are those? I thought those, oh, those are there. Okay, uh, that's that's probably the best part of it, so. Um, <laughs> papillary muscles are going to be connected right here. They're in the heart wall of the cell. So these are the muscles and cells connected to these cords. This is just like your leg. You've got a tendon and you've got a muscle. These are the cords. These are the muscles. The papillary muscles. Yeah. So if you have a picture of the inside of the heart anywhere, see how they, um, they kind of make them a better one. See the pap? Those are the same fibers. So you see, do they have the top line? Uh, no. No. Anyway. Yeah, the tendon going to the muscle. Yeah, that's controlling the flap. Oh, okay. So when the pressure backs up, it holds the. Well, in this case, it holds them to keep them from the valve from the pressure, because this is going to fill up with blood. It doesn't want it to backwash. So these guys are going to these guys are going to hold those flaps as they get pushed back up the way. Okay. So where are we at now? I forgot. Okay, we got those these little guys right here. These are made of the same. Dense connected tissue that you guys have in your tendon. So, four of the Okay, so the right one. Let me see, here's one. There's, yeah, there's two. This is the one, the cuts are attached to the cord. And the right is tri? The right is tri, which means there's three. And I always oh, thought that my right arm stronger than my left one, so that's where I had the more cuts. It was on the right side. Um, here's another one cord. I don't know if that's it. It looks like valve. <laughs> and then this one would be the bicuts. Too. There's two. Yes, that's the left one. Right there is the left one. I don't know if I can find that one, but it's going to be the one going from the right ventricle up to this guy, the pulmonary trunk. So if I can get my finger up there, there's a valve in there that allows that to happen. So it's going to go from the ventricle up into the pulmonary trunk. Yeah, it's going to allow that to happen. It's not, it's not these guys. It's deeper. So you have to kind of look on the model for that. And then the aortic is going to be right here. Right here. So it's going to come out of the left ventricle up through this and into the aorta, right? So the descending aorta, the aortic arch, or ascending, sorry, uh, aortic arch and then descending, ascending, coming up, coming down. So to go through it again, we're going from the blood that comes into the right ventricle, right? Yes, right. Right. deoxygenated right. blood. So that's coming from the right? It's coming from the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava. It's returning from the heart. Um, 
the superior one is going to bring it from the head and down. The inferior is going to bring the light back in from the rest of the body. Okay, so the lower extremities, arms, and all that. This is mostly coming in from the brain, neck, musculature, and that's going to go into the right to the right atrium. So it's going to feed both of these veins are going to feed into the right atrium. Yeah. So that blood's going to come in here. All right. And then it's a passive fill, so that means it's filling with gravity. It starts to fill this right ventricle about 70% with gravity, and then at the very end of it, it contracts to shut the valve. And then that's going to push that blood out of the ventricle into the pulmonary trunk, which is going to go into the lungs. And so it's going to go out through the arteries, okay, the pulmonary arteries. It's going to come back through the pulmonary veins, back into the heart after it gets oxygen. That vein, it may, doesn't make sense. It's opposite of what you think of. And even on the model, the artery is blue and the vein is red. So it's totally opposite. All it means is that the vein, um, if it's taking it away from the heart, no matter what it is, it's going to be an artery. If it's bringing it back in, it's going to be a vein. It's just convenient in the body that you can see. The arteries are the So, all of us. We're going red ventricle to pulmonary trunk and the arteries. Yeah, pulmonary trunk will take it to an artery. It takes it to the lungs. They get oxygenated. It comes back into the heart through the pulmonary uh, veins. Yes. And then into the left atrium. Okay. And then it's going to fill into the left ventricle. And then when you get that polarization, or depolarization actually, then it's going to pump it out through the aortic arch and into the body. Does that make sense? So we're coming, first of all, through the right, so it's going to come in, right, right atria through the tricuspid valve into the left ventricle, out to the lungs, back from the lungs into the left atrium through the bicuspid valve into the left ventricle, then it's going to leave and go out through the aorta and into the body. I think I know. No, I've got a video of it. Yep. <laughs> Write it down. Write your sequence. Over and over. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah, and if you think about it, then it'll start to make sense. You see oxygenated blood comes in, it's got to get oxygen, so it's got to go in the middle of the whole mess somewhere, it's got to go in the lungs.